Welcome back to my video series. This is the final part in mineral identification. So this is number nine, step number nine for me. And these are the special properties of minerals. Now, I have my hydrochloric acid here, which is very dangerous, so I keep it capped up. I have my magnet, and I also have my hand lens, which is super useful in any mineral identification situation. So, first things first. And safety with hydrochloric acid, please do not put it in your mouth. You never know where it's been. So, we'll start with this one first. Now, I have looked at this rock before, or this mineral before, and it's got a soapy texture to it. I already know what the hardness is. So the final test is a special property. And because I'm thinking that it's calcite, based off a of previous test, I'm going to go ahead and put some hydrochloric acid on it to see if it will react with the hydrochloric. If it reacts with the hydrochloric acid, it's calcite. So let's put it on here. Oh, and that is bubbling nicely. Let's see if you can see it here. Get a little glimpse of the bubbles, and you have to be very careful, but you can also hear them too. So, definitely fizzes with hydrochloric acid, so what I was thinking was correct. It's calcite. So, cap this up. The next one that I have is this, and it has kind of a metallic appearance to it, so I'm thinking that it's somewhere in the metallic family, perhaps magnetite, which is why I have this magnet here. So, what you do to test if it's magnetite, of course it's going to be a magnetic. That's its special property. So, try this, and there we go. So, again, special properties come in handy, and that is definitely magnetite. Now, this last one, you probably will not be seeing quite in this form. It's very pretty. It has kind of a vitreous luster to it. You know, a little bit of a smell. So smell can definitely help you determine things. Now, here's how I determine this one. Click. Just a little taste. If you're in the lab, I would wash this off first. And sometimes after you wash it off, you can smell it. And you can tell what it is based off of the smell. Otherwise, wash it off really well and do the kind of lick test. And it's salty, so I know that this is halite. So hopefully that helps you with some special properties. And I look forward to seeing you in my future videos. Thank you.